What's good? It's Chigozi. It's Wednesday, March 14th, 2018. It is Pi Day, and this actor, Stephen Hawking, is being reported dead. Anyone here, you'll, you come to this video because you're suspicious about this or anything, yeah, you're at the right place. I'll explain to you why Stephen Hawking is being reported dead on Pi Day. I mean, it's such a joke from the federal government. So, why at 76? That is the number for blood sacrifice. So, understand, every celebrity death is a ritual sacrifice. Either, even if they fake it, it's a symbolic ritual sacrifice. So, whether or not Stephen Hawking is dead or not is up for debate. But what's not up for debate is that this came out today specifically by the numbers. I mean, it came out on Pi Day. Pi is a number. It, came out, it literally came out by the numbers. Yeah, Pi Day, 3.14, founder of Pi Day was Larry Shaw, also murdered by his federal government, the same employers of Stephen Hawking. And from his death to Pi Day today, Stephen Hawking's death is 208 days. We're getting to the numbers real soon, but this is a really nice entrance into that. Mason, some 228. Space, some 28. This is all propaganda from NASA 28. See how that's all working out? And then what made me, I saw this date numerology before all this came out, and I knew it was going to be some heavily Masonic day because Mason 7328. And I've already talked a lot about how NASA propaganda is among the heaviest saturation of Masonic numerology, Masonic numbers 28, 73. NASA 35. And we have sacrifice numbers, sacrifice 46, 55, kill 17, NASA 17, space 17. No, NASA's not 17. Mason 17, space 17. But then NASA then flavors in with this trope coming with the 28, the 73, like Mason. So again, again, on the 73rd day of the year, a day with a life lesson number of 28, this propaganda is coming out. Stephen Hawking's dying on Pi Day, too, on top of that. Once you understand this pattern, I'm telling you the truth. The strongest, the stronger piece, the stronger connection is this date numerology, Stephen Hawking dying, the you know, NASA-related actor, the physicist, the cosmologist. That is stronger than him dying on Pi Day. And once you see how repetitive this pattern is, then you understand what I'm talking about. And here's what I what I mean. Yes, it's Pi Day, but in most parts of the world is one four slash three. We're talking about Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. One forty three reverse in alphabetical order. So since he's a cosmologist, a space actor, we have to see them. Yeah, yes, he's very well. He's not disabled. He's just a man playing a role, sitting in this thing, having some Masonic computer say stuff, but he can very well talk and all that. You have never seen him, but you have to understand that's how fake these people are. So, from the total solar eclipse over the United States of America last year until the day this comes out, exactly 205 days. That's 25, death 25, time 25. The This actor literally measured time. You know, he's what did he study? He studied black holes. Black holes all about warping time and space. We're going to see a lot of that inside this propaganda. It's also a span of 206 days. Mason, 26. God, 26. So... Here's why then, after we explain some gematria, we're going to see then, well, again, why he died at 76, why this piece of propaganda was updated at 331 with the 2 minute 46 second video. So again, he was sacrificed. Blood sacrifice sums to 67, which you're representing with this prime number relationship. So they either will, well, you'll see, you'll see it here. They'll use the reflection of the number, like 67, 76 is... In and in its own, the same. 
Here we have the 67th prime right here, 331. You see? 331, the 67th prime number, pairing it with the 76. So even if blood sacrifice just sums to 76, then that is what they'd be doing. But it's even sweeter than that because blood sacrifice sums to 67. So they have the 67 prime dying at 76 to reflection. But COS is the 19th letter. 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. So you add them all, you get 67. But with the S, it's 76. See, now S is 10. Blood sacrifice, 76. Dying at 76. It's also 166 seconds. Secret Society, 166. Freemasonry is a secret society. NASA is Freemasonry. Secret Society 58, like Freemasonry. NASA founded in 1958. I have a lot of this in my notes. We're just going to go down now. But that was a good introduction as to how this propaganda operates. So, yes, Stephen Hawking was ritualistically murdered by NASA, by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration on Pi Day. SpaceX is NASA. NASA is the federal government. If anyone wants to just see how you can link all this, if anyone wants to see a logical approach as to who's behind this, look, go to Stephen Hawking's page. We'll see why he's at NASA's Star Child Learning Center in the 1980s. I find it interesting how the guy who founded Pi Day murdered on 19 slash 8. Here they have a picture of him in the 1980s. Yeah, Larry Shaw died in 19 slash 8 in 2017, Space 17, Mason 17. So here, how he's at, so here, he's literally at the federal government. Who, who, who's the jurisdiction? United States government. Just so we all be on the same page. You can see then why they have the Masonic compass right here in their logo. Here they have Saturn with this ring around it in their logo with the Masonic compass. I, I mean, just let me stop right there. I mean, can I, I, like everything I talk about is just summed up in this picture right here from NASA. So we'll just go to the notes. Saturn 21, 21 times 21 is 441. So their name sums to 441. And for reduction, it's 171, 17, you know, NASA, NASA not 17, but space 17, Mason 17. So that is reflection. That's also the 18th triangular number. Their name sums to 666, reverse mathematical order. So I want to point some of these out. With the the, you get the 213, special number to them. Time, 47, makes Sonic 74, 74 representation there. The Saturn numbers too. So time sums to 144, space sums to 44, and then here they have the reflection 144 in their name. I'm breaking down why NASA's choosing this in their name, choosing to do this. And then we're gonna have to speed through here. There's a lot of really good evidence inside this. So, but I know a lot of people here are new because, you know, who's gonna, not going to come here from Stephen Hawking's death and look it up? So I'm trying to entertain the new people. So in the Jewish cipher, see how I is the ninth letter, it's still nine, E is the fifth, but then M is the 13th, so you take the three's position, multiply by 10, and then T becomes 100 because it's in a way related to, related to the Hebrew cipher as well. But then, you know, the newer letter is kind of at the end. But anyway, if you're at 44, you get 144. So, again, that's, that's the number for space. So they're relating 44, 144, 44, NASA reflection. Yeah, at the Star Child Learning Center. <laughs> Star Child Learning Center sums to 239. Choose an alphabetical order like Stephen William Hawking at the Star Child Learning Center. See, that's why they're doing this. Why well, this actor, you know, shit eating grin, duper's delight, delightfully deceiving you inside some propaganda from the Scottish right Freemasons. That's why they both sum to you 113. Number for Scottish, number for dishonesty, green screen, mainstream, Freemasonry 139, Star Trek Learning Center, physicist, sum to 52. In reality, it's just an actor. So some of the images I had. I copy and pasted it, aren't showing. It's, you know, first thing this happened, but good thing we have the propaganda up because a lot of it's just from here. 
So this is when NASA was founded. Scottish 113. This, this is supposed to say Scottish 113. Using alphabetical order. CL, they're founded with 59 numerology, Freemasonry 59. So look at Star Child. Star Child 94, 59. Their founding date with 94, 59 numerologies. That's sort of stuff. On the 210th day of the year, their name summing to 441, 21 times 21, Saturn 21, the keeper of time, space, time, Saturn, the sun, the Jesuit order. You see how I'm, they're all intertwined. It's all the same gang. You know, Freemasons, 155, founding date with 155 days remaining. They're trying their best to tell you through numbers that the Freemasons run NASA. They do. There's no there's no question that they do. I mean, why do you think majority of the astronauts have been Freemasons? How is that a coincidence? I don't even know why I'm sitting here trying to explain to you how the Freemasons created and run NASA. It's not a it's not a conspiracy that they did. It's a fact. It's open fact. I mean it's not even I mean look, look at founded fifty eight happening when they're fifty nine years old. And as I've been saying, you can watch my other videos. I've been already talking about this. I said before they turn sixty this year Expect more significant propaganda tying to them because Freemasonry 5859, so they're going to obey this and do a lot of propaganda ritual during this. And they've already been doing it. And look, Stephen Hawking now dies. Everything I say about NASA has been coming true because it's so easy to see through their propaganda. You know, founded it with 41 numerology, 41, the 13th prime, USA 41. All right, so I hope you're still glued to the screen because now we're really going to get into the numbers behind this. But good thing I already explained a bunch of it. I already talked about date numerology, but it's kind of chained together now. So again, at 143, he dies. Scottish Rated Freemasonry, 143. Mason, 28. Sacrifice, 5546. Chaos, 1946. NASA, 35. Space, 17. Mason, 17. Kill, 17. Mason 73, the 20, 21st prime as well. So again, NASA founded on the 210th day of the year. And then on the 21st prime, Stephen Hawkins dying. See how it's working? Prime number relationships, as I already introduced. But I like to visually show for those new. 73 is the 21st prime number. So only, only numbers that go into 73 are one in itself. And that's the 21st number in a sequence of numbers, starting with two, that does that. That's how your federal government likes to behave. So Cambridge is you know where he worked and lived in England. Cambridge has the 4455, space 44, scientist, some 55, Sunday with 55 numerology. He's dying, see? Pi Day, also some 255, dying on Pi Day, day with 55 numerology. So that's what makes it extra special. Couldn't be any old Pi Day. You have to be the Pi Day with a 55 numerology and a date with a lifeless number of 28. See? That's why he didn't die. That's for those who are wondering, well, why not last Pi Day? Why not the Pi Day before? Well, no, it was perfect. You had to be at 76. And what? And then, then you're asking them, well, how is it synced up so perfectly like this? Because he is an actor, a born-to-be actor or... Brought up young, given a fake identity, playing out a predetermined role from birth. His role, his whole thing was made centuries ago, and you're living out a comedy sketch. Cannot say it enough. It's absolutely the only way to explain it. Mason 26, again. Dying 26 days from the eclipse, the span of that. You know, he dying, he has to die in Cambridge too on the 119th parallel or the 0. 0.119. You know what I'm saying? Government 52, prophecy 52, but Saturn 119. NASA has to give us this type of propaganda. You know, founded in 1951, conspiracy 51, area 51, federal 51. Also knows it's 40.7 square kilometers, 47. Freemason's compass at 47 degrees. Look at this. <laughs> we have lost an amazing human being. Yeah, an amazing actor. Sums to you 130 in full reduction. Just like how if you reverse alphabetical order and reduce, you get 130.
I documented this over the 1331, connected back to the cube of Saturn. Cube also sums to 1331. And 210. Who was found on the 210th day of the year? Hmm? Which Jewish entity was found on the 210th day of the year? We're talking about how they're all about Saturn. I mean, again, Saturn sums to 73 in ALW. This is the 73rd day of the year. And their Kabbalah cipher, the 21st prime, Saturn 21. See what I'm saying? NASA found on the 210th day of the year. I mean... It just leaves me speechless how blatant this is. I, I've literally never seen anything in my life as easy to see as this type of coding from, from the Freemasons inside their propaganda. So again, blood sacrifice, 76, 67, dying at 76 with the 331 update time, 67 prime, dying the 73rd day of the year, sacrifice 73, Mason 73, NASA 73, a NASA sacrifice. That's what I'm saying. How is it a coincidence that we have a NASA... 7328 sacrifice 73 on the 73rd day of the year with a date with 47 or 46 numerology. See? It is the perfect day for a NASA sacrifice. So Stephen Hawking dying 65 days from his birthday. Look at this. 65 days from his birthday, he dies. I'll leave that up, so I'm going to talk about that later. Stephen Hawking, reversing that book order and reducing, some to 65. Dying 65 days from his birthday. You know, that's one of those things I should start off, start off with earlier, but I feel like at this point I've shown a lot of good information where you should have been sticking around, or at least one to come back and watch the second half of this. We took a break. Stephen Hawking, 65. Dying 65 days from his birthday. It's also two months, six days. Dying 206 days from the eclipse. Again, Mason 26. It's all that S exception. Either 19, so the 19th letter, 1 plus 0 is 1, or you don't do that, you leave it 10. So from NASA's upcoming birthday, he dies 137 days, the 33rd prime. It's also a span of 138 days, federal 138. As we saw earlier, the, the jurisdiction of this place is the federal government, and then they have to brand it from then, if you count the end date. So 130, the 138th day of his death is the federal government's, one of their entities' birthdays. Yeah, jurisdiction. Found in 58. For the benefit of all, we can see what that sums to. It sums to 307. Nice segue. Nice segue. So, is reflection of 73. As we said, Mason 73, NASA 73. We have the 41st prime, the 13th prime, USA 41. You know, number going back to America, 13 stripes on the flag, 13 colonies, 13 families in Vernal Illuminati. So also sums to the 13th triangular number. The sum of numbers 1 through 13 so gives you 91. So they give you this there. Here we have Chaos 89. Order out of Chaos is their motto. It's also the 11th Fibonacci number. Mason. Or 11 is the master builder number. Or 22 is the master builder number. 11 is the master number. Freemasons the master builders. But 307, you know, what a nice segue. I kept clicking on this. I was like, I'll get to this. I'll get to this. For the benefit of all, simply 307, like 22 divided by 7, which gives you 314, like pi, like 3.14. Are you understanding how this propaganda, how this system works, how your language is coded by the Freemasons, how they crafted this of old world agenda? You know, conveniently sums to 17. If you don't, if you drop the zero, that's also 107, the 28th prime, space 28, Mason 28, NASA 28, 20 divided by 7 sums to that. 
and 118 number for death for spiritual the entire nasa program the entire national aeronautics and space administration program is nothing else than a spiritual ritualistic masonic game So if you count the end date, I just want to gather some information on the 195. If you count the end date, Stephen Hawking died 195, 19 weeks in five days from NASA's upcoming birthday. And then you just notice how they have 19.5 billion as of last year, their revenue. It's a for-profit organization. Steal it. And their main source of revenue is your tax dollars. They steal it from you. They extort you. And they use these actors to make you feel comfortable doing it. Literally how it is. It's so disgusting. Why do you think, think I don't like these people? Oh, they, like literally, there's so many people that like will say, oh, I wish we would just give more money to the space program. More money to space. Oh, I'm glad we're giving money to space. I want to donate to space. You know, less war, more space program. Oh, what if we didn't pull money into war into the space program? It's like, yes, I'm all for the not putting money into war and military, but then why is your head going to then some theatrical production company from your federal government? I don't understand. Why would you then want to put it there? And yeah, that's where you lose me. Cosmologist Stephen Hawking on October 10th, 1979 in Princeton, New Jersey. So we're going to talk about this, why this date's here. So, again, they don't have this picture here because it's the nice picture of him is because they're coding this. Revelation sums to 1010 with the 22 chapters, so they give the 79, the 22nd prime. Revelation 1010 Jewish Commandment. That's also 11, pairing it with 22, because 22nd prime right here. 11, the master number. 22, the master building number. Murder sums to 79. He was murdered, so in 79, they have a picture of him. Inside this prop again. Princeton, New Jersey. I didn't even see why it was in Princeton. Princeton, 51, like federal conspiracy, 48, like Freemason, 48, 51. America, 129. Scottish Rite, 57, you put in a postcard. Scottish Rite, 159. Federal, 158. See? And then 94. NASA found it with 94 numerology, 59 numerology. I just said these are special numbers to NASA, and they're putting it inside this propaganda. That's how that's what I'm showing. I, I, I can't explain it all. Your know, Revelation 49 to reflection. So October 10th, 1979. See, so then remember, NASA has these numbers, 118, 28, 46. We'll do a little rewind. Like, I hope you're sticking here because I'm trying to go slow and be accurate. We're going to go back to that 118, or I probably didn't have it up here. Oh, I remember where I had it. I remember where I had it. Spiritual 118. 22 divided by 7, 118. He's dying on Pi Day. It's a special number to this, special number to NASA. So then they give him, they give us a picture of him, 10 plus 10 plus 79, 118. A date with 118 numerology. They have a life lesson number 46, sacrifice 46. We're talking about how he was sacrificed today. Death 118 in Jewish Gematria. Mason 28, Space 28, NASA 28. I mean, come on, why does those three things, some of 28, why have all the days then? They give us then a picture of him on date with 28 numerology. If, if there's a part two in this video, I'm starting off with this picture and we're just going to talk about that because that's things, that's the really, you know, key thing. Why is space, Mason, and NASA also in the 20 in the same method too, a full reduction method. So you do full reduction on a date, you know, add each single digit together, you get 28. Like why they line it so perfectly. It's those examples, it's those patterns. That's why I talk a lot about them. I try to drive that home. I make quality. So for making videos, I like to be quantity over quality, but in terms of explained examples, 
I like to be quality over quantity, like really drive home why they're doing this pattern, how it's a pattern, how it's so easy recognizable. I mean, this little 113 little code in here anyway, but let's talk about this. I mean, come on. He was married for 11 years to Elaine Mason. You know, why not 11 years to Jane Watt? Why 11 years to the Mason? Why the master number to the master builders, Freemasons? You know, Saturn 30, Jesuit 30, Jesuit also 21. So also look at this. He was married, his first wife, Jane Wild. He was later married for 11 years to Elaine Mason. Mason 28, as we've been saying, Wild also some 28. So Wild some 28, Mason 28. They were 28 numerology in this picture. One more time, he dies, he dies today on a date with a life lesson number 28 from NASA, 2835. It's just, this is the easiest example. Literally, it's like a brain dead six year old can honestly understand this. The Mason, Elaine Mason was a, a nurse, by the way. One of his former nurses. Nurse 58. We get the Rosicrucian pattern, Rosicrucian 5877. Freemason 58. And again, that date numerology. If you're out 13, you get 99. Death, some see 20. They were 20 numerology. They have that picture. See, you have 20 death and sacrifice numbers. Israel, 2864, the reflection. There's also the 82 days remaining, the reflection of 28. Just to, you know, to drive it home even further, just put another 28. Again, I'd say they, they talk to you with the reflections. So yes, 82 is a special number. It's its own number, but you can see that they're coding 28, just the fact that it's the, day, the 82nd or a day with 82 days remaining. See what I'm saying? And then now we'll finish off with Neil deGrasse Tyson. They sync us up with him as well. Of course, I mean, he's like the new Stephen Hawking in a sense. You know, the black man now taking over. The Negro taking over. And you'll see in a second why I'm calling him a Negro. Well, me, me, well, he is, and you'll, but I'll show you why I brought it up. Again, Stephen Hawking born in 42, Freemason 42, Jesuit 42. So, Neil deGrasse Tyson, if you don't know who he is, just like Bill Nye, Stephen Hawking, he's another theatrical actor, another performer for the federal government, for the Freemasons, the Jewish Zionists, the Jesuit Order, the Catholic Church who run entertainment. Science is, all science is, is nothing else than a modern form of entertainment and religion. And this guy makes it more entertaining. Again, born in 58, he's 59 years old. Expect him in more propaganda before he turns 60. This is not the, it's not the last you'll see. Okay, of course he's always in propaganda, but you know what I mean? Mainstream media news propaganda like this. Born in New York, 39, stabbing on a black man. There's plenty more 39s on him, I bet, too, in 93s. Of course, 42s, and here's the 59. So, from his birthday until Stephen Hawking's death, exactly five months, nine days. And that's what I'm saying. Why, of all the scientists, physicists, colleagues of him, why is the black man, why is the Negro, the slave, you know, synced up with the 59? Five months, nine days from his birthday. 59 is also the 17th prime number, Space 17, Mason 17. Also 22 weeks and 6 days. We have that the Saturnian nod right here. Also, it's for the 160 days, time sums to 61, reflection 16 and all that. But 226 sums to 93. Like Saturn. And then I was listening to the propaganda video. They haven't seen it because it was auto playing. And I overheard the guy say, you know, Hawking had a has a daughter named Lucy. Lucy and Time. And keep this in mind. I need to do more research into Ohio and Lucy. We're gonna, if you do your, re your history, you'll find probably a lot of relations. Ohio, 47, 29, 61, 16. Lucy, similar to that. They switch out the 20 with the 29. Time 20, pi 29. 
16, Pi 16, dying 100, or yeah, dying 160 days on Pi Day from Neil deGrasse Tyson's birthday. See how this is working? And then time is 61 reflection. And there's that. So for Stephen Hawking's death, Definitely this is a, an appropriate length for a video, a nice, you know, 30 minute episode. I mean, if he was giving you some type of propaganda, it will be, if anything, it'll be at least 45 minutes to an hour on Netflix, but it will be 30 minutes also on TV. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. We can refresh this propaganda, see if there's anything else. Nope. See, that's what I'm saying. It's 621. We'll start doing this, you know, because I know my screen's blocking the time. What time is it? Oh, you should bring it up. <laughs> 6 21 p.m. Are y'all seeing this? So I'm not making anything up. 6 21 p.m. Nearly three hours later, still updated at 3 31. And again, I know if someone are new here, you don't memorize these prime number relationships, and you under, well, how do you memorize it so quickly? Because they, they always put this in our face. That is why. It's not because I'm always doing it, it's not because I'm always seeing it. It's because they're always putting the same numbers inside of her face, inside the same rituals, inside the propaganda. The 67 prime number, blood sacrifice, 67, dying at 76. And it's still up. Blood sacrifice, 67. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dying at 76. Unbelievable. You know, the minute 37 video, 137, the 33rd prime. Dying 137 days from NASA's upcoming birthday, upcoming 60th birthday, death 60. Going back to 6, prophecy 6. What? See? A 137 video. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Okay, well, so it's also 37, you know, NASA 73, that whole 3, 20 divided by 7307. But just the 137. Why is there two minute 37 videos with Stephen Hawking? This one, 551, Freemasons, 155. But see, 137. 137. I'm trying to show you how they reuse these numbers again and again. It's right here in front of our face how they're doing it. You know, one Direction. Why are they syncing up with One Direction? Oh, well, easy to see. Easy to see. You, are you understanding how this works? One Direction, 67, like blood sacrifice. This piece of propaganda updated at the 67th prime number. So he's solving One Direction's problem. One Direction, 193, the 44th prime number. Using the alphabetical order, space 44. Space 91. I know we saw some 91s earlier. I was talking about the 13th triangling number. We saw how they paired it with the 41st prime. Also, space comes to 91. One Direction 68, like Pillar, special number to Freemasons, Blood Sacrifice 86 to Reflection. And then 131. So a 1331 sequence, but it's also the 32nd prime. Agenda 32, America, Jerusalem. Un Believable. Like, absolutely unbelievable. O is the 15th letter. 1 plus 5 is 6. D is the 4th letter. 64. <laughs> kill 64. 44. 28. You know, kill 28. Dining night with a life lesson number of 28. All those 28 we saw. Wow. So I'm going to look up Zane's name. I'm just pausing it just in case they have some stupid copyright claim, which they can't. It's news. This is supposed to be fair use. And that's my ad free channel. But again, this gang can just take this video down for that reason anyway and you try to write YouTube. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do anything about it. 
So I'm not even going to take the risk because this is a great video. But Zane from One Direction. See, clues to examine more of this. This this probably be a 45 minute video, but it's whatever. You know, might as well jam all what I can in this. Might as well start it with his band. Because I knew I was going to spell it wrong. So, you know, born in 93. Born in 93. Pairing him with someone who was born in... 93. Saturn 93, the keeper of time to the cult. Saturn 21. You know, all these things we've been seeing. Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawking born in 42. This is, see, they're saying, why would these two ever be in the same sentence? I'm explaining to you how. With Gematria, with Kabbalah, with numerology. Zane born in 93, Stephen Hawking born in 42. It's a Saturnian ritual. So we'll just see from, because you can probably look and see when they. Like when this happened, but I can't even find out when. So it was just, but I know they synced it up then with the death and Zane's birth birthday. So Zane born January twelfth. You know, one two one Revelation one two one. It's also one one two mathematics one one two. Are you all seeing this? Mathematics sums to one twelve, and then Zane Malik born one one two. Mathematics one plus one is two. In 93. Unbelievable. This is incredible. How, how sick, how crazy this propaganda is. Circle 112. This is all Zionist propaganda. The Jesuit order in 112 nations. Vatican City founded February 11th. Donald 112, the Saturnian actor. Wow. Now we got to see his birth numerology. What? <laughs> NASA 35. Born on a date with a life less number of 35. <laughs> oh my goodness. This probably can't. <laughs> This is so coded. The Lima 125, the cult religion under the number 93, born in 93. Oh my goodness. They were 353 days remaining. That's the 71st prime, Catholic 71, 71 the 20th prime, time 20, Saturn Keeper of Time, Death 20, Prophecy 106, Mason 26, 13. You know, talk all about that. Execution 116. It's also one one nine ups or nine one one upside down. Probably go some of that too, but I'm telling you right here, any if these are too many numbers for you, just take this away. The life lesson number, you know, of all the numbers, the life one, the main one, thirty five. Thelema thirty five one two five. NASA thirty five. You know, it's point ninety three. Oh my goodness, what what's this name sum to? I mean, this is gonna be if this is an hour video of this type of stuff, I'm completely fine with that. Oops. Wow. Born on January 12th. His name sums to 112. Wow. I hope this video becomes one of those. Like, so I want the whole world to see this. This is, this is the best examples ever. Again, circle 40, 112, 32. So we have 32 right here. And 50, it's everything. Circle, Zane. I already talked about the circle, mathematics of the circle. That's the most important thing to this gang. Saturn and Keeper times all entwined in that stuff. Times, cycles, circles. So we have the 30 second prime, the 50, 40, 112 circle with these. He is a born to be Zionist actor participating in propaganda. You know, no surprise is happening when he's 25, time 25, death 25. Wow. Zane 21, 42, like Saturn, Moon 15. You know, it's all Jesuit propaganda, 21, 42. Malik, 35, born day with a lifeless number four. This is the most coded thing I've seen in all year. Nothing beats this so far. I don't think anything's going to beat this. This is every 
every time. I know we're all seeing this right now. Are you? This is crazy. Malik forty six, like chaos, like sacrifice. Today's the the forty six numerology is happening. We haven't even done from his birthday to the to this day yet because we're just decoding him. We haven't even gotten past his birthday, and it's all this coded propaganda inside his existence. That's what I'm saying. These are embodiments of propaganda. What do you think I call them that? Also, don't think it's a coincidence that his name begins with Z, the 26 letter, and like all this Mason 26 and stuff like that. Remember, space also, S the 19th letter, so sing reduction, space, it's 26. You no. Know? So, 112. 2018, time sums to 61, dying 61 days from his birthday. And it's a span of 62 days, Mason 62. This is a Masonic time ritual, as I've been saying the entire time. Blood sacrifice 86. He's blood sacrificed eight weeks and six days from the One Direction guy's birthday. It's also 2-2, two, two, you know, without two months, two days, 20 to master building number, all that. Wow. Yo, time 61, Mason 62. This is how your media is. This is how it always is. This is not an exception. This is not a super coded example. It's just very easy to see, probably in my opinion. But they're all coded just this way with this strength, everything. The next celebrity death will be this synced up to this person and that person. Possibility that somewhere outside of our own... Do you guys think that's possible? I don't even want to finish watching this. I hope you don't mind. I mean, this video's already long enough. I think we can end there. You know, 42-minute video. We can do his full name without the Zane, though. Just if you want to see what that sums to. Oh, man, I hate when it copies everything. So it's my, it's my bad. So I do that. I get the picture. But, yeah, I mean, there you have it. I mean, this, I mean, I hope you all just saw what just happened there. Hope you all saw how coded this is. I'm not saying that this is irrelevant. I just personally, you know, like, I like to be, although I, I call it the rigid thinkers and call them retarded, I like to be rigid sometimes like this. Like, I like to stick to what you can't contest. Federal 138, Scottish Rite 57, Freemason 96. Saturn 69, reflection. This plus its reflection, 138 plus 831 is 969, 9.69, the average orbital speed of Saturn in light of this man's birth name, Roger. Again, Philema, honors number 93. Philema, you know, 35, 125. NASA, 35. His name sums to 112, born in 112. His name and circle have the same exact thing. I mean, that's what I'm trying to show. So what does that tell you? That means One Direction is a Zionist Jew, Masonic, Jesuit Order creation, branded with coded actors who are born to be. This is how the world of mainstream is. Mainstream, 113, it's all dishonest. 113, it's all from the Scottish Rite Freemasons. 113, it's all green screen. That's why it's all fake. It's all fiction. It's all bullshit. They use politics to distract you more with it and do more type of propaganda. It's all not true. So there you have it. You know, a long video showing how Stephen Hawking is just a theatrical performer, One Direction, bunch of actors. It seems very mediocre music. We gotta see what Javad sums to. I mean, if his name, if he's this coded, I mean, he has to have a very coded middle name that fits. His Saturnian pattern. Saturn 42, 93. Do you see how before I put it in, I said it's going to fit the Saturnian pattern? And it does. Because I'm not a prophet. I'm not really good at gematria and all this. No, it's because your federal government is giving you these coded actors with these same exact tropes, these same exact qualities and characteristics you can just start with their birth numerology and see what they're trying to do. Again, born in 93. That was the first thing I even talked about. Born in 93.
Moon 15, Saturn 4293. Born on the 12th day of the year. Even look at the art you do with this. See how 42, this comes 90, 93 goes over here, 42 comes over there in reverse, you know, and they reflect when they don't. All this art inside this propaganda. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you, I know I enjoyed making it. I exposed NASA. I exposed Stephen Hawking. I, I, good riddance, Stephen Hawking's gone. I do not like him. He, all he does is deceive everyone. Everything he's so smart scientist was doing all this, he's just no, he's an actor. Filling your head with all sorts of bullshit from NASA. You know, fake science, all sorts of crap. And guess what now? Time's a healer. Time's going to keep passing. And then children no longer won't give a fuck about who he is. I'm not going to research Stephen Hawking and know who he is. And if they ask you who he is, tell them the truth. He's an actor, a fake news, Zionist Jew employee. You know, very well. Do I think he faked his death? Yeah, I mean, I think he's still alive, you know, probably talking now, walking around. Living with his billions of dollars for deceiving you all this time. Good riddance. Seriously, good riddance. We just need time to pass. People to be born and not be influenced by this man. Yes, they'll bring on a new person, but hey, one less, the better. One less, the better. Peace out.